I have heard him speak about your great power. I've served you for so long, yet I don't know who you are. This unknown God I've heard of, who others often speak. He causes walls to crumble, and he opens up the sea. But what use it is to praise him with all When my life doesn't glorify the God of heaven and earth, the strength of your power is unchangeable, I know. My God, I see your greatness, so I've come to seek you, Lord. Lord, show me. For my shattered life and cause my eyes to see what they've never seen before. Mere words are not enough. Reveal yourself inside of me, oh God. Whoever doesn't know you retreats from. Meu nome é Tatiane, eu tenho My name is Tatiane. I am 29 years old and I am a saleswoman. I had a good family. We were happy. Since the day that came my parents' separation. With the separation, I got a big hate to my father. I was already a person very difficult to deal with. And then I was carrying that hurt and that hate Since my childhood, I had that burden. So all the relationships that I had was frustrated since the day that I saw the betrayal. So I lost all the values and all the senses about anything. I would just carry hate and anger from my father, from people that came across me, all the relationship that I had. Also the boyfriend that I had that betrayed me. I really hated him and the person that betrayed me. So since that day, I thought, why well, am I going to care about others? And then I met a friend at the time. I say a very bad friendship. She was a prostitute. She had a person that would support her, and she also, besides, would go out and stay with other people. So I thought that this was a very good thing to do. So I started doing it as well. So I had a person that would finance me and pay me everything. And besides that, I would go out with her. And I would go out with politicians, with businessmen. It's not all politicians that does this, of course, but I met many. And many married. That they made that kind of parties. And I was there and they paid me to be there, to participate in this party. So I thought that everything was wonderful, a lot of luxury, a lot of luxury houses. I would go on a yacht, expensive drinks, expensive shoes, expensive clothes. I would go to Sao Paulo, to Brasilia, or with an aeroplane, but I would get home at my roots, at my house, my very humble house. And I would be so sad that I would cry and cry very hard. And I had another friend that she introduced me to the marijuana because she said that makes you quiet, that makes you sleep. So I tried and I liked, but it came to the point that the glamour, nothing would work because I was still empty. And then I started making tattoos on my body. I put piercing, put silicone. Okay, now I'm going to be happy. Now I'm perfect. No. I was still empty, I was still sad. But there, I remember for every word that my brother told me that he is a pastor from the Universal Church. He always texted me. He 
always called me. You don't take that path. Go on this one. I don't want really to push you, but I want the best for you. Give yourself to Jesus. You're always gonna be happy. And I would reject him and hang up and say no. I don't want. I never really want to, really to talk to him. But deep down, I knew that he had some peace that he wanted to give to me. But I was there, always proud, really on the bottom, but still wanted to show that I was good. It was no way out to me. I tried everything, and even then, I was still not happy. I thought, okay, so now I'm going to start seeking. I'm going to do it. I start going to the church. I knew I had to clean myself. I had to get delivered. Fazer, me limpar, me libertar. Jesus, ele é tão. Jesus, it's so perfect that he accepts us the way that we are. He cleans you, he washes you, and then he makes you full. So it was wonderful to me that deliver. I could literally see God cleaning me. I had an encounter with God. I gave up on a bad life, on a bad friendship, a social network. I changed my way of dressing, my way of thinking. But even then, the hurt that made me feel very bad and made me go to the bottom, that made me have all that burden. Until when I was an adult, from all the people that hurt me, the ex-boyfriends was still there. So I noticed that I had to forgive. I already forgave me, but I had to forgive. So I called my father and I asked for forgiveness, and we cried and we talked. And today, I love my father so much. Chorou e a gente conversou, deu tudo certo. Hoje eu tenho um amor pelo meu pai, eu tenho um carinho, limpei mesmo o meu coração. I really cleaned my heart. Only like this, with the heart clean, that the Holy Spirit could come and live inside of me. So I start seeking. I didn't want to know about anything, not any other area, not on my love life. If I had debts, I didn't care if I had boyfriend or not. I only wanted to receive the Holy Spirit. And I remember that I made a vow with God that I shaved my head. Nobody asked me, but I had a need that I had to let go of that life. So I shaved my head. I sold my car. I sold all the clothes. It was expensive clothes, expensive shoes. I sold all, and I transformed in one vow. And I put an altar. Not because of the money, but all the effort that I did to receive the Holy Spirit. He came. He came, and he he made me completely full. E aquela pessoa que onde abundou o pecado, a nojeira, a prostituição. So the person that before were so many bad things, prostitution, the hurt. The illusion of luxury life, where was all the bad things? It started to be living. In the second of September, the Holy Spirit started living inside of me. Nothing, nothing pays. I didn't find nowhere what I found in that day. I didn't find nowhere else. What I have today is the Holy Spirit. And since that day, I can overcome. I have a husband today that gives me value, that helps me. I have a son of one year and six months, a very beautiful baby, very healthy. And my family all with Jesus because we recognize that without the Holy Spirit, we are nothing. All the hurt went away, the sadness went away, the emptiness went away, the huge hole that I had inside of me, Jesus came and made abundance, all the joy, all the peace and the strength.
May God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are back with you in, with one more prayer. Today is the 11th prayer on behalf of you who are living this faith of the sacrifice. And we just watched a testimony of Tatiana that she on the altar found a new life. On the altar she found God. And she found that God on the altar, the living God, because also she understood that she had to pour it out on the altar her all. And if you watch careful, Pastor, Pastor Diogo and, and my dear friend, if you we watch careful this testimony, we, we see that she spoke about the details of the testimony, uh, about when she poured out perfume on the envelope, she she gave up from the old friends, she gave up from the, the life that she knew that the Holy Spirit revealed to her that was not a life that would please him. She present her sacrifice, she build up her sacrifice that uh, that represents her attitude of faith. And when the day that she came to the altar, she had the assurance, she had the conviction inside of her that God was present in that place and that God will receive her life. And this is exactly what we want these people to understand, that uh, God is here where we are right now. God is in on the altar waiting for this person to climb and not just to climb to present like we spoke today in the church the offering that Cain present but to present the offering that Abel present the offering of expression the offering of life in other words a totally surrender on his altar even though we cannot match what God has to to give us in return we must do our very best and that's where we see the details on her testimony although it's a sacrifice although it's painful it is also a pleasure the person feels this pleasure to give everything because everything that she was it was sorry to say but it was a rubbish of life it was a mess of life it was a life of sadness of anguish a life of uh, being used by men she was always in the hand of one man and in the hand of another man because of money. She didn't give hello to of herself. There was no value. But now she gave everything, all that life, not anyhow. She didn't say, okay, God, so you want this life? That is it. No, she put her effort. She, she did her very best as Abel. He prepared his offering. He did not come to present to God just one more animal he came to present to god the best and we see even the bible mentioned that Cain brought uh, the fruits of the ground but we see that when the bible speaks about his offering abel's offering is the first word the firstborn in other words we see there already expression god first and this is what we want you my dear friend to understand the expression the life and that's why we're going to pray for you we are walking towards this campaign of Israel in this month of July. We are starting today the second half of the year of 2020. And I am sure that everything that starts from the altar, Pastor Diego, will have uh, this, uh, those who start from the altar and those who start on the altar, they have the conviction, they have the security that the altar will not uh, go into um, despise them. But the altar always, like you mentioned, will give much more of what a person plays. She put her life that was rubbish that you mentioned, but she received a new life. A new life, and you who are watching us in desperate, you have tried everything. This year has been the worst year of your life, and you see no perspective of a better tomorrow. How many people there, there like you said earlier today, Pastor, they are asking, finish this year today. I don't want to see this 2020 anymore in my life. Now is your opportunity to change, to turn that. And the altar is the only, the only way. There is no other way. If today you receive one good news, it's not enough to change everything. What you need, it's a new life, a new beginning. Who can make a new start and halfway gone? Only God. Exactly, it's true. And this is what we're going to determine through the altar. If you need more information about the campaign of Israel, how to participate it, you can contact us, I, our telephone number is below your screen, and you're going to have all the details, how to take part of the campaign of Israel, that is going to happen in every universal church of the kingdom of God, old white, where there is a man of God ready to uh, pray for you, and to help you, and to teach you how you can come out of this life. And surely, that very soon, 
you're going to give your testimony. You're going to glorify God's name through the story. We're going to cry out to God. Pastor Diego is going to make this cry out. If you can stand up in your house and stretch your hands to the altar. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we join our faith with all these people, my Lord, that you have chosen to be at this moment watching us. People desperate, people who are tired, are fed up of depending on our religions, people that are tired, my Lord, of the lives that they have lived. They may be having heard about you many years, but they do not know you. Maybe this person is watching us right now, and they have never heard of you before but now they hear an opportunity of transformation they hear that these words of life this rubbish of life maybe that they have like Tatiana can be renewed can be transformed they can receive from your altar a life that they never dreamed before this emptiness this depression this sadness can have an end at your altar so my Lord steer up the fire inside of them the revolt and show to them my lord what you can do in their life show to them my lord right now in this strength put an assurance inside of this person that what they hear is not coming from men that what they are hearing my lord is not coming from religions but what they hear comes from your word is the living word the living faith the faith that moves mountains so right now my dear friend receive strength receive power receive strength to do what you have to do in name the name of Jesus and we bless all of you in the name of Jesus Christ we determine that you become from this altar you will become the fountain the living fountain for the glory of God and those who believe and agree receive that strength and if the devil is trying to deceive you to look back to look to the side the devil is already destroyed and rebuked it in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. We are sure, my dear friend, of your blessing. We are sure that God already performed and will perform wonderful things. This coming Sunday will be very special. You, have, you, you are welcome to join us in Stockholm at 11 o'clock in the morning, but also on Saturday there in Gothenburg. Yes, at 1 p.m. I will be there with Portuguese serfs. 2.30 English surf there in Gothenburg. You can see our address at the UCKG, the website, uckg.se. You can see the address of uh, Gothenburg as also the address here of our headquarters. Okay, and tomorrow we're going to be back with one more prayer. And I am sure that the Holy Spirit will going to perform wonderful things. May God bless you, all of you. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. For in their heart, that time they went to fight the Midian by the sword of the Lord they plead, by the sword of Gideon they die, by the sound of war they all were put to fight. Cause my revolt is my strength, and you, O oh Lord, will not reject my sacrifice, who is like unto you.